When I see each of you, I see your different strengths. When we have diversity of crops, one stores well, one tastes very good, and one provides good nutrition. This diversity is what we have relied on to survive until now. Massive species losses caused by humans opened a Pandora's box, a sixth mass extinction. Can we survive for the next 100 years? To answer this question, I lived with indigenous communities to understand how they have survived for centuries. I traveled to Sikkim in the foothills of the Himalayas and Majiwa in Zimbabwe in southern part of Africa. Both communities have long histories of agriculture practices coexisting with natural habitat. What I found in each location was that this diversity had been replaced by just one cash crop. In the Himalayas, that cash crop collapsed due to disease. In Zimbabwe, that cash crop collapsed due to intensified drought. What survived were the indigenous crops. For my PhD, I'm working with the indigenous communities to revitalize these indigenous crops. I created line drawings to document more than 50 varieties of indigenous crops. Dependence and relying on monocultural cash crop provides production for a short term, but are susceptible to the impacts of climate change and disease for a long term. Working with the indigenous communities, I am developing a model that integrates indigenous worldviews and knowledge and practices to maintain crop diversity. I am working with the two different communities and I will isolate common principles from each place to develop this model. So I ask again, can we survive for the next 100 years? Yes, I believe we can, but only if we make changes. And that change can start with a very simple process, such as documentation with drawings and bringing people together from places where people are sharing the same issues and experiences. Thank you so much.